Welcome to Soft Surfaces. My name is Brennan Prince. And I'm Isaac Harvey. Today, we want to show you intense fire testing. What we're going to do is take a, an amount of gasoline and pour it on different playground surfaces and see what happens. Now, the testing we conduct here today is all done in a controlled environment by trained professionals. Thank you. The sad reality is many people do bring accelerants and gasoline to these surfaces and attempt to vandalize them. Across the nation, you'll see headlines all the time about a playground in a certain city that's been lit on fire. They're wondering what to do. They've had this tremendous financial loss as well as a playground loss. What we're going to do today is look at what happens when this is done in a controlled environment where we put gasoline on a playground surface and evaluate the results. All right, as you can see here, we're at the port in place surface and initially the results look very promising. The fire looked to be contained, but as we later learned with time, it seeped into the surface and continued to burn on and on. So with a fire on port in place fueled by an accelerant, there's many things to consider. The playground equipment, the entire port in place surface, all these things are at a huge potential to danger or financial risk. What we've noticed with the artificial turf is that the fire just totally enveloped the whole thing. There's no part of the artificial turf that is not ruined by the flame. The fire continued to engulf the whole artificial turf piece, the foam pad and the turf. Artificial turf is an open system that's porous, so any gasoline is actually gonna percolate right through the product, which causes it to really ignite when exposed to an accelerant and then a flame. As you can see, we basically have a volcanic eruption of gas that was able to permeate and spread throughout the entire surface. Okay, here we are at DuraSafe Playground Tiles. You'll notice that the results of the tile were incredible. Very little damage to the individual tiles. In fact, these tiles would still give all the fall high performance, all the durability characteristics that come with even a new tile. The amount of time these other pods were burning for releases far more smoke than these self-extinguishing tiles that we have installed. And so the damage done to the environment is far less. And Isaac, one of the key things about our tiles is that they're non-porous. So what happened was immediately when the fire was placed into the product, the flame went up. It was, it was actually the, by far the largest flame. And when that flame goes up, it's just the gasoline or the accelerant sitting on top of the surface. Since there's no gasoline or accelerant percolating through the product, as soon as that accelerant has been consumed, the fire will self-extinguish on the top of the tile. Whereas in comparison with a port in place or an artificial turf, the damage in a circular way could cause damage and the repairs afterwards would be far more costly. And as well, you need to keep in mind that when we replace a tile, that tile will be identical to the surrounding tiles. It's nearly impossible to do that same mixture with a port in place or install artificial turf of the same color, of the same mixture, and of the same quality. As you can see here with the Dura Safe Premium XT product, the flames and the gasoline that sat on top of the product itself immediately engulfed in flames, but then simmered down and self-extinguished the fastest out of the four pods. And you can see the cleanup here and the damage compared to even the artificial turf. Where the artificial turf began to crack and deteriorate instantly and crumble apart, all we have here are some shavings of the residue of the initial gas that burned on top of the surface. That's why this product is able to self-extinguish so quickly. We're pleased to show you this footage and we're really impressed and we're really excited about the potential of this product in your playgrounds and playgrounds across the nation to eliminate the effects from arsons, from vandals. This is a great solution for a lot of different parks and recs facilities and school departments across the nation, across the world.